they still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember. in arms from the Order belief. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, band it together, work to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life, and I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sock? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? Fail safe. That's all you need to know. Keep that desperate already. Not yet. Call this a success, Sims? So At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler. It's working. Bell remembered finding that incredible. Space trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? We? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Class! Treason! We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to <laughs> parasites like you!
not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers, and hoping the commander, whom until recently Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can't help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? 
Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. Hmm, so, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a signal. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people! Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died, but the bombs killed tens of millions! Yet we are alive! We stayed alive throughout those years! Artyom almost got killed! Is he just collateral damage too? Guess what? Yes! If you have to choose between the life of a single man, no matter how dear he is to you, and the lives of everybody else, all the dwellers of Metro, then there's nothing to think about. Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best! 
Would you say the same about me? And about myself, too. I've spent my whole life protecting the people of Metro. Do you get it? My whole life. And I wouldn't hesitate for a second. I'm prepared to do anything to ensure Metro survives. Even though they'd shoot me on sight if I returned now, it doesn't matter. Too many lives are at stake. Too many lives have already been sacrificed to hesitate now. Too many. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I mean, but we have to make up our minds. How will things finish for all of us if we start out lying to each other and arguing? We need to be better. You ask me how things will finish. Well, let me tell you, it all depends on Artyom now. If he finds the frequency, if they are alive. <sighs> Found it yet, Artyom? Please, try! It must be there! <sighs> Nothing yet, Artyom! <sighs> this signal has got to be there! <sighs> Look some more! Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best! <laughs> Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a signal. Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best! Found it yet, Artyom? Please, try! It must be there! Do you reckon we might hear something from... <sighs> Not yet! Gadget. Wait a moment, what was that? Special Restoration Committee speaking what? from the Earth Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone... Listen, everyone! Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 one, Where is that I number repeat. supposed to... Proceed to the rally point. Rally Got it. point location is code So it one, is eight, somewhere one, around one, here. The Yamantau Mountain. Nine. So the route from one, here should go... Five. Like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better! <laughs> Not bad! I like it! Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round that should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Yeah. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, 
while you are shot. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Four bogies on a trolley! Farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with our team too. As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you're not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, the sir. Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. Let's go, Artyom. Artyom, don't forget your neck. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. 
Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm sold. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shield. I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. 
We're not from here either. Silantius oh, locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Give up! Oh, I don't feel right. Oh, my God. This is a punishment for our sins. It's all for our sins.
shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. And sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy shit, you did not disappoint. after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army, but we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom, thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The southern Ural. <laughs> I heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics Artyom, were in control stop now? by my desk once you're done talking and to the old man. 
Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them.
Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from the father, Selandias, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It save your soul. Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and flood that noise. I'm not pushing the plug on the fucking hand car for 200 clicks. Wait and that deep in the red zone. Don't send the search to you with this message. If you sell the diesel to the brothers, they were open good cash for it, and yet that's very a self-propelled bark, or a not cost. You understand me, Simon? No harder. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, yes. Simon, come on.
Simon. The breach is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with our fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red zone. So I'm sending search to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. You were offered good cash for it. And get that train. <laughs> Simon, no hardware. 
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blit, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blit. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. 
What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had the chance to pull off a... Hey, where are you going? Look, you don't want to hear it? Uh, fine by me, just tell me. This is where I live. My palace, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. By the way, almost forgot. Here, it's a gift for you. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Now, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
Hold on, we're coming for you. God damn it. It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. <laughs> Sam, is that you? <coughs> Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to do some serious threat. Stepan's asking for some tools. Try to get civilians on board. Everyone's gone nuts here. <coughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... we... we have to go back now, I guess. Where... where would you go? Those fanatics will eat you alive. Hi, Artyom. Huh? All right, welcome to the crew. I don't know. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So... Disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. 
I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut. The next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom, it's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich, no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom, 
Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. Good luck, Artyom! Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move up, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post. 